Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Glad you could be here. I'm going to be continuing forward with my Breath of the Wild stream. Again, if you haven't been following along, I've been working my way through my very first playthrough of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch. Loving every moment of it so far. Just to give you sort of an idea of where we're at in the game, we have defeated all four divine beasts hey fit good to see you welcome uh we defeat all four divine beasts we've gotten some number of shrines roughly 70 i think uh slowly building our way toward a confrontation with ganon but there are a few things from both the base game and the dlc that i want to do before i go directly into the end game so we're kind of tying up loose ends i've lost my controller there it is um tying up loose ends at the moment and when we left off we had just started eventide island which is a mysterious island that upon arrival all of our stuff was stripped away from us link is running around in his uh in his undergarments basically attempting to solve some puzzles out on this remote island. It's kind of like Survivor, only uh, without Jeff Probst. So let's just kick over to the actual game, and let's play a little bit. There we go. How are you not fit? Hope you're well. Go ahead and get my chat overlay going. And here we are. We we're tasked upon arriving here shirtless and even tad island to bring three energy orbs to these energy orb receptacles so far we've got one taken care of from our last uh, last go around so we're going to see if we can discover the other two energy orb type things and then figure out something to do with them Ooh, just woke up from a nap. Not bad. Hey, Dungeon Max. Good to see you. Welcome. It is dangerous to go along. I'm glad someone pointed that out. It's easy to forget. This game doesn't warn you frequently enough just how dangerous it is to go alone. I feel like they assume we all know that by now, but who are they to know what I know and don't know? Yes, even Tad does kind of feel like a weird dream, doesn't it? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. It's definitely dangerous to go alone, dripping wet in your skivvies. Look at that. That's a good-looking elf. It's the respawn moon. <laughs> hey, Curious Lush, hey, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I decided to throw this in sort of at random for funsies. Wasn't originally planning on streaming tonight, but then wasn't quite ready to go to bed. So why not? Always better than being wet in someone else's skivvies. I'm glad you pointed that out. <laughs> Red Moon at night, sleep as a fret. Red Moon by morning, calamity's warning. Okay. Oh no! I forgot that that's inescapable muck. That is mean quicksand. I can't even tell if I can get out of that or if it's just like automatic death as soon as I go in. Oh, man. There we go. He got octorect. That octorot just got octorect. Actually, I don't like the way that sounds. Let me walk that back. I really love the creepy Blood Moon music. 
Oh, hey, look, it's one of those guys, huh? Is that a Hinox? Is that what those are called? Going to be hard to face with no gear. Going to be a minor problem. You spell what the author of the hero time is cooking. Nice. Nailed it. Hey, pickled dog. Yeah, there's nothing like fighting these guys with a traveler's bow and a boat oar. This is the you lose your stuff island. It's even flow island, courtesy of Eddie Vedder. Okay. Ah, I see a power orb. Nice. Nailed it. Again. I got the mad aim. Okay, yeah, you please alert all your friends. Excellent. Boy, that's a big barrel. Oh, man, look. Oh, I could have sneaked. I could have snuck. I could have snuck. How did I get out of this barrel? Ha-ha! It was me all alone. All alone. All along. Your arch enemy, Link. Oh, man, I don't have any food, do I? Let's eat some mighty bananas, I guess. Orb. Okay, what's my good weapon? Oh, I've got a sword. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is, this is going to be good. Yes, give me that grace, Mipa. Oh, no. I'm trying to use my uh, my cool call down lightning ability, but I can't get it. Oh no! This is great. This is going great. This is actually how I wanted it to go. Just for the record, this was this was the plan. This is definitely the plan. Hmm, they seem to have forgotten I was here. Like a bunch of morons. Yes, sleep. Sleep eternally! Uh-oh. Farewell, morons! Uh-oh. He's discovered the body. Now this is like Hitman. Oh wait, is that the repository for it? I don't think it is. I wonder where I need to take this thing. <laughs> I don't know if these are surprise Breath of the Wild streams. Okay, surprise here maybe is the wrong word. Maybe unannounced is the word I was actually looking for. This is a very good point. Well, Tom, glad you could be here. Uh, interesting. Interesting. So we have a re receptacle here. Yeah, let's see if we can magnet it. The last time I saw one of these, it was not magnesis. So this could be a job for Octorot Balloon? I never use Octorot Balloons. Wouldn't it be cool if it worked? Oh, come on. There's no way you saw me in a million years. That's bogus. Very bogus. <laughs> Our half-dressed boy is going to go over here and hide. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. Oh, yeah, I wish we could stasis stuff and whack it. Are you really going to come over here, huh? Oh, man, how's that fair? You took off like half my health with one hit. All right. Goodbye forever. Yeah, keep blowing that horn. <laughs> this underwear kid keeps sneaking their camp. 
What's the deal with the underwear, kid, though? Uh, you heard about this underwear kid? Hmm. Gorf a couple of bananas. <laughs> oh, yakety sacks would be good. Okay. What are we going to do here? Come on, guys. Just lay off. This is pretty lame, honestly. <laughs> there we go. I just broke a traveler's sword on it. Did not move it. We're playing at maximum. <laughs> maximum excellence here. That's the only thing I bring to the table. Our pro game skills. Stasis and bombs. Ah. This is a good strategy, Kirisalashe. Must be this tall to hit the rock. Yeah, how's that fair? <laughs> Nailed it. No. I think that was a me problem, not a strategy problem. It's not, it's not you, game. It's me. Okay. Okay. So that's not going to do it. This is a wily coyote problem. It's starting to feel like one, isn't it? Now, here's the problem. I think once the Octorot thing floats it up, it eventually pops and drops it down, right? Once you pop, you can't stop, I think is my fear here. And... If that's the case, I feel like I may need to grab the orb and get it over here into position before I do anything a sneaky sneaky. Luckily, I have four shots with a bad bow and an oogly googly skeleton arm that I can use to my advantage here. Okay. Gotta make every shot count. Can't afford to miss. Oh, I didn't miss. Haha. <laughs> nice try. Blow harder. You just got crit. Oh no! Your buddy can throw rocks? Since when? I don't think I've ever seen that. How am I 900 hours in this game and I've never seen one of these dudes throw rocks? Back to the hiding rock. This island is very action-packed. We've definitely tuned in to some of the most intense... Breath of the Wild. I don't like how my skeleton hand seems to be grabbing at uh, at Link's buttocks here. It's a little upsetting. Maybe we'll generously say it's trying to pick his pocket. Okay. Just gotta be sneaky. Yeah, I think we'll have to get the orb and then... <laughs> They're sneaky. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. How dare that skeleton hand objectify Link when I came up with the idea of doing it first. I'm probably the first person ever to, uh, to objectify Link. I'm sure there's no fan art of anything like that on the internet. Okay, team. Oh boy, it's one of those awful rams. Look at this guy, he wants some. Oh good, he dematerialized. All right, I'll take it. Okay, Octorok balloon time. This may be the most delicate operation we've ever tried to pull off. <laughs> Thank you for slapping the sticker, by the way, Fit. Ghost goat. Hmm. Okay. I think this is going to be our chance.
Ha ha! We did it! Look at that! It couldn't have gone better unless I dropped it on that big goon's head. Strategy! <laughs> That's Jess of the Wild, baby. That was pretty great, wasn't it? I wasn't sure that would work. Oh, if it landed on Monster, I would probably have, like, a sponsorship on this channel already. Like, all the big gaming brands, like Razer would have been in here. Uh, <laughs> AMD, NVIDIA would have been in a bidding war for me. Hooray, <laughs> just in the wild. Okay. We got this team. I don't know where we're going next. All I know is when we get there, we're going to cause some trouble. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have an Octorok balloon there. Is that literally the only solution? Hmm. That's two or three orbs. Hey, Metali, good to see you. So... I wonder if there's any chance the other one's out there. Or is it going to make me leave the island if I attempt to go over there? Because I think if I leave the island, everything starts over, right? Ooh, I don't know what to do. Oh, the Hinox has it. That would definitely make sense. Yeah, I feel like if I go too far away, it's going to reset. I really don't want to fight a Hinox. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, there's the receptacle. So, yeah, I bet that the orb is... Is it literally sitting on his chest? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, come on. Come on! Uh-oh. Armed resistance. Oh, these guys are having fun, though. Swim drunk. <laughs> Link. <laughs> they basically want to hit the beach. It does. It's very seasonal. If I shoot one of the explosive crates, they don't explode unless I have a bomb or a fire arrow, right? Okay, so far so good. Oh no, too good. No arrows. Way go, Link. Whoa, hey, that's kind of aggressive. Okay, got Boko Spear. Might have some food I can eat. This is getting a little hairy in here, guys. You can detonate barrels with that crate and a little gravity. Ah. Okay, are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Do, 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 Ah! Not cool. Okay, Boko Spear, you say. A whopping two damage. Hmm. Yeah, you just got derooped. Hey. Come on, jerk. All right. Okay, my problems are getting fewer. Ooh, the 
I think that's where the first of the, um, the first of the power orby things were found. I'm not sure about that, but I believe that's right. <laughs> I mean, you can see it coming, but it's still very satisfying. Okay. Seems McHorsey couldn't hear your call. How's that fair? Ooh, a seared steak. Now we're moving on up in the world. By the way, if you're just joining us, welcome. Welcome to Jess of the Wild. Let's hear it for the crates. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Thank you, Fit. May the may the goddess Hylia bless you. <laughs> you caught the giant horse and caught it. There's a giant horse? Now I'm intrigued. Okay. We're gonna try to cook something. Or maybe we'll just drop some things on the ground. Like a real pro. Okay. All right, look at these survival skills on display. A whopping two hearts <laughs> coming from that. Cook up some crabs. Ooh, literally the best sound in the game, right? There's nothing better than the sound of critting on your cook. Big money, no whammy, stop on a whammy. Okay, maybe I should eat that very healthy meal and get some power back. I don't like walking around at no health. Okay, how about these rocks? Is this going to accomplish something? <laughs> As always. <laughs> Nothing but the finest. <laughs> yeah. This game. Oh no! I think that was a bad roll. Can we correct it? Oh, really? It's strapped to his chest. Oh, come on. Come on. What am I supposed to do with this? He can't climb up here, can he? That's all we'll talk about how to bow. Oh, there is a little path up here. Great. Great. Great, great, great. This is very good. This is excellent. <laughs> great, don't fail me now. Oh. Maybe crate does help? Oh! A, a delicate crate placement. He seems poised to strike. Bugged out of a little fire. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, no. Oh, he crushed it. No. Where'd my other one go? Where'd I drop my other crate? Yeah. 
The <laughs> Crates of Wrath. Nice. Melon, melon, melon. Oh yeah, I do have these things. <laughs> oh, that's still so bad aiming everything. Beautiful. Ooh, roasted hearty bass. Some toenails. You know Link's a dirty boy who likes to collect toenails. Ooh, a blue shell escargot. Have I just solved even Tad Island? <laughs> In Oxford. <laughs> In <Oxford. laughs> nice. Ooh. And he even carried the ball up the mountain. That's right. He works for me now, baby. Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> I'll now return your things. Thank you, you big jerk. Come, enter the shrine. It is not a trap. Uh-oh. Got a little the old zippity zap. What all zip zapping at me? Oh no, Inner Shrine Major Test of Strength. I hope not. I should put on my rubber pants. A perfectly normal thing for an adventurer to own. Like a leaf on the wind. Hmm. Guess I should just get up there. Perfect. Ooh, in the rain. With finesse. I'm out here dripping in finesse, much like Bruno Mars. It's promised to have returned all your stuff. <laughs> you put on some clothes. Okay. We got this team. We've beaten the odds. No one believed we could do it, but here we are. We started from the bottom. Now we're on top. Yay! It's just a walk em up. Yes, I have proven my worth. Well, this went pretty well. I was expecting even Tad Island maybe to be the entire string to that. Oh. 300 rupees, you say? I love a good rupee. Yay! Yes, I have risen to right the wrongs of Hyrule. Thank you for noticing. Oh, pickled dog, I farmed hardcore at snowball bowling so I could unlock the fourth great fairy. It was a brutal couple of hours, but I'm very good at snow bowling now.
That said, I don't have any of the components to upgrade anything to level four. So I don't know why I rushed into that instead of the zillion other things I could have spent the money on. Okay, now we have a travel point here on the island. We're doing great. This is good stuff. Now I'm curious about that other islandy area. Hmm. Can't really see it well. I don't know that I can float out there. Hey, Rishka Gold. <laughs> I'll pass the word along to uh, Turtle Tomorrow, Grayson. Glad you could be here. And glad you can lurk. I always appreciate lurking. No shame in that. Yeah, that's true. We can rethink this later. Uh, well, I guess I can save now. What's the harm? Probably this would be a good point for a little bit of Revali action, but I have used up all of those. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to jump. And by have to, I mean I've chosen to against all logic and reason. Oh, it's not as far away as I thought. Even tire for the love I know I have. Did it just kill all those fish? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, we don't know. So he chases them away. Boy, I hate Pearl Jam. I can't even vocalize how much I dislike Pearl Jam. Sorry if we have Pearl Jammers in the audience. Is there nothing out here? It's a really good island to have nothing on it. Not even a Karak seed? You Karak be kidding me. Mmm, no. No, strike that one from the record. Whoever's transcribing this tonight, please leave that out when you, uh, when you upload the official transcript. Oh, Magnesis, yes. This Magnesis, right? <laughs> okay. Ah. A chest. Thank you, Fit. That must explain why the lightning struck. Now everything makes sense. That's right. Yeah, there are several varieties of Magnesis to choose from. <laughs> Personally, I like Chrono Magnesis. I will never, ever learn which one of those is which, even though the icons could not be clear. Okay. Where to go? So I'm thinking a couple of options here. So option one. We now have enough gold to buy the next piece of our ancient armor, which is something that I would like to get a hold of before I attempt to head into Hyrule uh, Castle. We could also go snow bowling and attempt to save up enough to buy the house down in uh, Kakariko Village and start the Terrytown quest. Or, hmm, Kurosalashe suggests perhaps we attempt the maze, the labyrinth. Ooh, I kind of like the labyrinth idea. Let's try it. Let's make it happen. All right, that's two votes. That's all I need to proceed. I thought about adding a channel reward that would allow people to uh, like just choose what quest or where I go next. But I realized I kind of just run my streams like that anyway. It's like, oh, what should I do now? And then someone tells me and I'm very happy. It's a win for everyone. Hmm, we get some crinkly sound here. Just a moment. 
Let me shift over to Bean Cam for just a second. Restart my game capture software. We'll see if we can get that looking a little better. <laughs> to our penny. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Now we have an even better way to do your bidding. Yeah, I haven't had Zelda wrap up in a while. Everyone, just to bring you back, if you're new to this, when Zelda makes its North American debut in 1986, it brings with it the greatest commercial for a video game ever made. Imagine, if you will, two young kids, two young boys, sitting around talking about the hot new game Legend of Zelda from Nintendo. One of them begins to beatbox, and then there's rapping, and it goes a little something like this, the Zelda rap. Well, it's the Legend of Zelda and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ganon are pretty bad. Octoroks, Tic Tacs, Leavers too. But with your help, our hero pulls through. Yeah, go get her, Link. So, wiki wiki wiki. That's the Zelda rap. Thank you, Tom, for redeeming it. I feel like it's been a few weeks since I've Zelda rapped. And, uh, I mean, I think we can tell it was long overdue. Yeah, the wiki wiki week is the most important part. There's also a new sticker tonight. A Jess of the Wild sticker that I've added to the stream. All kinds of exciting things are happening here at Jess of the Wild. Okay, let's drop that. But that's not going to be my best. My best weapon choice. Probably also not my ideal armor outfit. Knights call those outfits, by the way. That's the official, that's the official knightly name for armor. Outfits. Where's my cool outfit? Okay. I'm gonna park you here. Hey! Thank you so much for the subscription, Dungeon Facts. I appreciate it. Very kind of you. Glad to have you on board. Okay. I know you're here, Guardian. Bean Camp's still on. Dang it! Oh man, why didn't someone tell me that sooner? I was in gameplay mode. Oh no! Okay, do we have gameplay now? That dang bean cam. That ding dang bean cam. Can't trust it. Da, dun, 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 dun. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Heroic. Who just too ha 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 me? Oh, no. Not one of these jerks. <laughs> not bad, not bad. We can call that a win. Okay. Yiga! Boy, it was a really good idea to upset the Yiga clan very early in the game. Yes, that was the big boy Yiga. That was the Frisch's big boy, Yiga. Like an Uber that brings you a sword and some bananas. It's like DoorDash. Hmm. 
Let's see here. What do we actually have? So many outfits. So little time to wear them all. We <laughs> have a great rubber suit. It's great, Link. Glad you have rubber armor. Okay, so it looks like... The only piece of the ancient set that I've bought so far is the chest piece. What do you think, team? Does this feel like a hat or a boots kind of moment to you? Hat, which looks really, really goofy. Like some sort of horrible mistake happened on Link's head. Always hats. I feel like you're absolutely right, Cure Slush. And plus, what a hat it is. This is a, what we call, in the business, a very good hat. Okay, I've got everything I need. Sweet. Okay. Gotta get that Guardian Resistance up. Now we have a whopping 96 <laughs> rupees. Let's see how we look. Let's see if we look very good now. <laughs> uh, it looks like he works at some sort of weird corn dog stand in the mall food court. Or this is part of the uniform. Very, VGH, very good hat. I assume that is the standard internet abbreviation for very good hat. Okay. Well, there is what appears to be the maze. Oh, man. Okay, so we're just going to glide down there. And hope for the best. Maybe we're going to save before we enter into this mistake. The last time I was in one of these mazes, I didn't do great. <laughs> Zach, I did not finish the Plateau DLC, unfortunately. I'm going to return to it eventually, but I ended up going to Eventide Island, and uh, we knocked it out surprisingly quickly, and now we have our eyes on the Labyrinth. Tight gliding, check it and see. Got an altitude of 403. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump. Hmm. Hmm. Not feeling super great. Hey, there's a shrine nearby, though. That'll be good knowledge to take to my grave. Here we are at the low main labyrinth. Gorgeous link. Just gorgeous. <laughs> Wish me happy landing. All I gotta do is jump. <laughs> Thank you. I was pretty happy with that glide myself. Well, this is no labyrinth at all. Uh oh, didn't see him coming in. Okay, so it's like that, huh? It's like this, that, and this. Ah, you just got derooked, or should I say direct? Dance, magic dance. So, when you cheese it, Zach, is it landing on its head? Because I've done that a couple of times, and it's pretty good. 
Look at all these ancient doodads. I probably intimidate it by wearing a hat that looks like it's made from a tiny version of itself. Not sure I fully understand this maze. I do know that looks like a fake wall. I don't think it is, but it'd be cool if it was. Very much not a fake wall. Oh, cheese the labyrinth. I will take any ideas on cheesing labyrinths. Feel free to give me uh, give me anything you want. I find that my best way to cheese most things is to fly up with my bird grace and uh, see what I can accomplish with that. If you understand, it's still a maze. No, once you understand a maze, it just becomes a series of corridors. It's no longer a maze the moment you understand it. You've defeated the maze at that point. It's like knowing a demon's true name. It allows you to banish it. That may not be accurate. If you ever run into a demon, please be careful and... You know... Do a good reality check like you would using your GPS before you drive into a lake. The good thing is if you ask a demon if saying their true name will banish them or give you control over them is, they have to tell you or else it's entrapment. It's eternal entrapment. They are legally obligated to be truthful with you in that situation. Hmm. You can use a feature on your map to help you out. Hmm. <laughs> Is the feature zooming in? I did get the DLC. I picked it up a couple of weeks ago. I haven't done much with it yet, but I am ready to go with it when the time comes. Okay. <laughs> Enhance. Doing some careful scaling of those walls. That does look more like a bombable wall. But nay, tis not. Hmm, that definitely looks magnesisable though. You just got magnesis did. So is this thing like way up high? Is that the deal here? Oh, I don't have a bow equipped. That's no good for anybody. There we go. Magnesis was right. I get that reference. 
I appreciate it. I need to stream some X-Men games at some point. I love X-Men dearly. I should probably play... What were they called? Um, oh, the ones that are like Marvel Alliance. Those were good X-Men games. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Just fly up. Windigo. <laughs> yeah, there were some X Men specific ones that predated the uh, that predated the Ultimate Alliance games that were really good too. Oh, there we go. A little bit of a hard landing. So now I'm on top of where I need to be. And can I drop down? Is that how I want this to work? Okay, there's wind blowing me away from it. I take it. Hmm. Okay. How do I get into it from up here is the question. Because I am not sure. Does it drop down there and glide in? Is that where it is? Oh, it has a big cage around it. I forgot. Well, this is less than ideal. Other side? Or, hmm, which side do we think? This side, says Pickled Dog. Do I go all the way down or am I going partially down? Cheating! Hmm. Can I like those? So as we get rid of these thorns. You know, I like to say every rose has its thorn. Come back to that in a moment. Oh no, a keys! The final guardian of the shrine. Oh, you can switch to arrows. anything hidden behind the shrine i always want there to be something hidden behind the shrine and there's never anything hidden behind the shrine there's something hidden behind the horse shrine and that was one of the best moments ever <laughs> maze solved <laughs> with the power of flight and the help of half of a dozen people 
Thank you, as always. Jess of the Wild! Limousine! I'm just going to start shouting random things. That's what all the big streamers do. That's how I'm going to make it pro. All right, another just walk up and get it shrine. Always check behind the shrine. That's right. Always check behind shrines. Oh, barbarian helm. Always check behind uh, waterfalls, especially waterfalls. Oh, thank you, Slat. Thank you so much. I'm only several thousand subs away from being able to quit my job, so that's <laughs> my day job. That's the big goal. Come to a body of water, Magnesis, yes. Ah. Gas bubble. Ooh, is that four? I believe it is. Orb. We have an orb. Great Jorb. <laughs> Link Stray. Yeah, we have two pieces of that armor. Now I'm like, should we go check out that other maze? I mean, we the world is completely open to us. We could go anywhere. We can do anything. Like, for instance, right now, I'm just going to teleport out of here. Like a great big Dorcas Malorcas. Okay, there is another shrine, right? Or another labyrinth, rather. Ah. Is this a labyrinth? What is this? Hmm. We haven't been anywhere near that. This looks like a mystery team. Shall we? That's a maze, too. Out of Philly. Oh, it's full of guardians. Oh, I should have checked it out. I can always use a few more spare parts. The <laughs> one we just left, yeah. I figured that's what you meant. This will be maze three. Ew. It's all gross here. I don't like it at all. No wonder I haven't explored more. Hmm, what's your deal? Who are you? Who are you? I'm Moza. I'm trying to protect my ultimate dish, so I'm training in isolation. <laughs> it's burning badly. It's Cajun style. Hmm. Teach me a recipe. Ooh, an ancient meat meat dish. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> Bird meat or steak? Prepare it with something from a broken guardian. An ancient part. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Dubious food. Dubious food is one of my favorite things about this game. So are any of these recipes right? Are they just, like, nonsense? Oops. Tons of monster parts. Okay, so... In order to survive out in the wild, you've got to be willing to eat anything. This is very good. <laughs> Very extra, as the kids say. <laughs> I guess I need to hear the lavish meat dish now. Or... 
<laughs> so it's gonna be dead tomorrow. You could be right, Zach Blast. Okay. Mm, I think I'm good. This one's pretty great, though. Hey, you don't have any of your stuff in there, do you? Because <laughs> I'm going to set all your wooden stuff on fire. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to traumatize you with that. I just wanted to steal your baked apples. I guess they were apples before I got to them. Okay, well, I hope your possessions weren't in there. Hmm, that looks dangerous. <laughs> it's fun that's the only game where Link talks and he's kind of funny. Yeah, you know, I was, again, I'm a relative Zelda noob, or at least a very lapsed Zelda fan. I was pretty sure that Link's whole deal was being a silent protagonist, so I was kind of surprised in this game when he was gabbing it up with everybody. Uh oh. Alright, let's not do a. Okay, I'm usually very good at these and definitely get them first try. Oh, wait. Have to stay up here, huh? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ah! Oh! Nice. Tried to use my scope. What was that? Okay. I really want this croc seed now. Where'd it go? Balloon. Patient like a hunter. He has his bow drawn. He waits for his prey. Let the balloon come to you. Be the balloon. Balloon. We have met Rush Room Guy. He's at one of the stables, right? Here's a fun balloon story from Jess's compendium of tales of high school football. One time during a football game, I was pretty severely concussed and was kind of out cold on my feet, but still in the game. So the way that I realized that I was concussed, since oftentimes you don't know uh, you don't know that you're concussed in the moment the way that I realized that was was I was staring at the scoreboard and their scoreboard had a field on it basically for ball on which was like tell you what yard line the ball was currently on and I was confused enough in the middle of the game that I thought it said balloon because the letters were kind of close together, even though that's not how you'd spell balloon. And while I stand there like puzzling at it and teammates were yelling at me to like get my head in the game was when I realized that uh, that was concussed. Sadly, I have a fair number of concussions in my name. You can knock Kronos the balloon. Okay, I know this is shameful, but I'm going to take like one more second of this. 
Oh, that was my shot. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, I'm getting impatient. You're right. You're absolutely right. I just gotta get back in the zone. Back in the zone. I've only blown like 11 arrows so far. Get back in the zone. Back in the zone. Back in the zone. Dang it. <laughs> it flies close enough at one point that I felt like I could hit it with a sword. Okay, this is very good TV, though. I think that's what really matters. We're making entertaining content. Together! Okay. Come right over here. Oh, I got tricked to look away. I didn't get tricked. I just chose to, I suppose. Okay. The Path of the Pendant Man, yes. The Path of the Pendant Man. The Man kneels. Okay. We're just going to aim right here. That ding dang balloon's going to come here soon. And when it does, we're going to wreck it. I'm going to watch you, balloon. I'm not going to fall for your balloon tricks. Okay. I shot like a good two seconds late. He gets one more pass. If I can't do this, I'm going to storm off the stream in anger. <laughs> I'm going to rage quit. Just of the wild, just of the wild, wah, wah. just of the wild, just of the wild, wah, wah. Wow. Actually, yeah, the zoom was a good idea. All that for a Karak seed. Oh, okay. Is that gust going upward, or...? Okay, we did it. Oh my goodness. That was harder than the last Ganon Blight. Thanks for the support, everyone. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for being here on this lovely Thursday night. Long weekend coming up here in the U.S. Hopefully some of us have fun plans. I believe I am going to see my in-laws, which isn't so bad. They're actually pretty cool. I know this would be a great place for some classic mother-in-law humor, but mother-in-law is pretty nice. My <laughs> kingdom for Croxy. Okay, is Link going to make it? Climbing gear. Oh no! Guess I should go ahead and finish off the Master Sword. No! No! Wonderful. Oh, what a maroon. Okay. Hey, take care, Zach. I'll blame you for leaving after that. <laughs> take care. Hope you have a good evening. Have a great weekend yourself. Hmm. <laughs> it's a little early. <laughs> Definitely appropriately timed. Hey, Wolfie boy. Oh man, I feel bad about that now. Wish I hadn't done that. Hmm. A lone guardian. Do we trust it?
Thank you, Fit, for the LOL link. All right. So which way do I need to go here? Over this mountain, it looks like. Big delay there. Yeah. It seems like there might be a decent amount of stream delay tonight. It looks like I'm running at normal speed, so... I'm going to chalk that up to Twitch being Twitch. Yeah, you know, I usually don't kill just the random non-aggressive wildlife. And then I just did. And I kind of feel like a monster. All right, this stupid hat will keep me warm. Stupid warm hat. Protecting Link's head. Ooh, getting colder up in here. I have a million uh, pieces of food I should probably eat here. Yeah. Chug a lug of spicy elixir. Perfect. You're the coldest link. Goodbye. Oof. Hmm. What have we here? All kinds of curious things on this largely unexplored side of the map. Hmm. Not as satisfying as I thought it would be. Ah. Does that mean there's a r real one here now? This is just finish off my master sword so that I can get it recharging. Is that how the master sword actually works? Okay. Ice key swing. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. It's me and you. I agree. I always want the ice blocks to have something. I guess I left one little bit of it underwater. <laughs> Glad you could be here, Stan. I'm sorry to hear about your uh, your sleeping patterns, but very happy that they mean you get to join us. Hope you're having a terrific, I'm going to say, Friday morning? Is that about right? Ooh, there is a shrine that we haven't tried yet. Let's get that marked up. Perfect. Perfect. And then down here somewhere is Jan Maze. Hey, Paul, not fat. I had a terrific vacation. Thanks for asking. I had a really wonderful time out in Arizona. Glad you could pop by. How have you been? Hope you're well. Ooh, nice. Doing some in-bed game development. That sounds fun, Stan. Okay, there it is. Our destination. The maze. It's like the entrance is down here. Can we cheese this one straight to the end? The 
big drops while paragliding are always terrifying to me. I can actually like feel my own stomach drop a little bit. Whoa, I <laughs> got that one a little close. Oh, look at this guy on guard duty on top of the maze. Bad news for you. Oh, he's a strong boy. Uh-oh. Wasn't ready for that. You never go in expecting a strong boy. Let's see here. What sort of healing up can we do? As always, we can just gorf some apples. Yeah, we're up to all four beasts. How wild is that? We've been making progress. Steampunk chicken helmet. You know it. That's how Link rolls. Hey, take care, Chris Lashay. Glad you could stop by. Have a great evening. Okay. So. <laughs> Link's ready for Mardi Gras. That would be a great Mardi Gras hat. Okay, let's see here. Rivali's Gale is now ready. I'm assuming it's just at the center. Let's see down there. Is that blight? I believe that's blight. I believe that is calamity goo. Okay, so it's not this direction. Link's going to suck a little wind. Hmm. I want to just drop down. Get down in there. See what sort of trouble I can cause. Could I cheese it from up here somehow? Oh, is that going to be... One of those going to be where it is. No, it doesn't look like it. I just got here officially. Just dropped in. See what condition my condition was in. Hmm. Ah, calamity goo. You calamity gotta love it. Hmm. 
This is the Grudo Maze. Hey, good to see you, Grayson. Glad you could be here. Because, honestly, I need help with this maze, and you seem like someone who might know the secrets of mazes. I have no memory of this maze. Great. Good, good, good. We're doing great here. We cheesed the last one with Rivali. And unfortunately, I haven't figured out how I could do something similar here. Hmm. Yeah, the goose sword is something else. Speak brawned and enter. That checks out. I think that is unkillable goo. I don't see an eyeball anywhere. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right place. Penance. Ah, thank you so much. Penance. From the entrance looking inside the maze, the entrance to the shrine is on the right side. So that means from here, the right side would be somewhere in this vicinity. Okay, that helps a lot. Thank you. Oh, left, not right. Oh, my bad. So that would be over on this side somewhere. <laughs> yeah, directions are easier when I read them correctly. Thank you so much. Ooh. Okay, so the entrance is somewhere over here, we think. Nailed it. Absolutely, positively, just nailed it. Hmm. Maybe the real Gerudo maze. <laughs> that helps a lot, actually. I don't, uh, I don't know that I could have uh, done a lot better on my own. So I'll definitely take even just which side to enter from. Thank you, Penance. It says that's amazing. That means an adventure game. I think so. That checks out. Oh, hello. Ha ha, thank you. You did it, Nicole Vince. Uh, you, you made it happen. You deserve all the credit on this one. All right, thank you so much. Jess of the Wild. We have that new Jess of the Wild sticker tonight, by the way. Very exciting stuff. Hey! It's Yay Link! Thank you, Grayson. It's Jess of the Wild. Ah, oh, there it is. That's my daughter. <laughs> she she heard me trying to uh, trying to record my own musical bit earlier today and walked into the room and was like that's awful. I can do better. So I hand her the microphone and I was like, okay, smart ass, let's hear it. And she nailed it in one take. So we're using hers. <laughs> I'll give her that uh, 50 bits next time I see her. Thank you, pickled dog. <laughs> okay, I believe that completes our fancy 
a barbarian set. Let's try it on. Oh, Link's a rugged boy. Look at him. He's got a little tummy tattoo. He's got everything going on. Those 50 bits are going <laughs> straight to the college pot. Yeah, she she definitely did not appreciate my version of it. My version of it sounded more like the theme to the Patty Duke show. Uh, if, if you need a very hip and up-to-date reference, just Google Patty Duke show theme and imagine the lyrics Jess of the Wild in there somewhere. She came in with, uh, with the new hotness. Yay! I like Link's little bolero jacket. That's very stylish. This is absolutely true, Grayson. Young girls are merciless. My daughter dunks on me 24 seven and it's not even fair. She frequently gives me streaming tips also about games that would be more popular than the ones I choose to play. Which mostly just means whatever Roblox game she's currently really into. In a lot of ways, she's kind of like my manager. Okay, maybe this is a good time since we've acquired some new stuff to head to a fairy. Let's go see our fairy friend. We'll go my favorite fairy, the first fairy I found. The fairy that taught me how wonderful the fairies in <laughs> Breath of the Wild are. Kotera? Is that her name? The big lady in the pond near Kakariko. Boy, I'm not going to adjust to see Link in this outfit. It's a lot of luck. The words of Tim Gunn, that's a lot of luck. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Shoot the Blumpkin. Hmm, did pretty well that time. Oh, hello there. Additional glowy rabbit. I'll spare you. Go speak of my kindness. BLT, big lady time. That's right. The real star of Breath of the Wild, those very large pond dwelling ladies. Oh, the, I love the fairy music too. It's very good. Is that a theme that appears in other Zelda games or is the fairy theme unique to this one? Because I love it. It may be my favorite piece of music in the whole game. Nice. Ooh, one more fairy. Don't mind if I do. I love eating these guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's the greatest thing ever. To the max. Okay. Oh, just some Lionel horns. Are all we need. Oh, and one hook. Is that all? Oh, that's... Oh, I've already upgraded that part once. I was like, that's weird. Usually they require the same stuff. Mm. Is it the classic fairy theme? Yeah, I wondered. Yeah, enhance that helm. Ah. Do my thing. This is the fairy theme. I have heard about set bonuses. In fact, you've told me about set bonuses at least a dozen times by now. There's nothing you can say about set bonuses that would surprise me at this point. I'm sorry. 
Not to be rude, but... This is a fake Zelda gamer. Uh, would a fake Zelda gamer have his own Jess of the Wild logo? I don't think so. I'm a fake Zelda gamer. I was like 12 hours in this game when I found out that the boy's name wasn't Zelda. Hmm. Looks like we can upgrade our stupid outfit. And upgrade we shall. She either wants to pick him up and pet him. Maybe just, like, hold him close. All I know is that she is a treasure. She is an absolute treasure. Helm. Enhance away. All those require star fragments, of which I only have one. Mm -hmm. Not ready to part with that quite yet. Ah. Okay, do your thing, lady. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely here for them low-key crushing on Link. No, it's very good. Aww. Grayson, earlier we uh, we completed Eventide Island. We did a very good job at it. It worked uh, much more smoothly than you'd expect. Okay. Now the question is, where to? Hmm. Photos of three kinds of guardians. Small guardians, flying guardians, and guardians that walk around. I wonder where I think I have the flying guardian and the guardians that walk around. I wonder where I could get a photo of a small guardian. If I went to one of the minor tests of strength, would that be what she's looking for there, do you think? And does anyone know? Does, oh, I need to go. Speaking of which, I need to turn in some spirit orbs. We'll do that while we're thinking about where we can find a small little petite guardian. Un guardian petit. I really liked Even Tide Island, even for just one spirit orb. It was definitely worth it. It was so much fun. Yeah. Look at this asshole paragliding in here. I'm sorry, jerk hole. Sorry, y'all. I let you down. I can make an entire game of Eden Town Island. <laughs> yeah, no, same. I would absolutely pay for that. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Heart container stamina. Heart container stamina. Team, what do we want? What's the verdict here? Heart container or stamina my vessel? Heart. I feel like heart too. I haven't been running out of stamina lately. But I do frequently run out of hearts. I like the advice. Hey, Zach, welcome back. Glad you could be here. Swear jar. Yeah, let's start a swear jar of some sort. I've been getting raunchy on the stream lately. I've been getting, going blue. Ooh. An opportunity to redo Eventide. Okay. So Barbarian Boy, looking pretty good. Got his belly tattoo. Just like he likes it. Hmm. 
So a place to find... Ah, a trial of power. Will that be a... That'll be some sort of guardian, right? Let's pop down there and see what it is. Do they regenerate with the blood moons? Think about where you first saw any guardians. Well, I know that there are the immobile ones that are all over the field near where you start after you leave the Great Plateau. And I've got one of the large mobile guardians, and I've got one of the flying guardians already. I think I just need one of the tiny boys that live in the shrines. So let's see if there happens to be one in here. Need a tiny boy. Looking for a tiny boy, please. <laughs> hey, Metallic. There we go. Get those Gabriel Knight <laughs> emojis in here. You too can have your very own Gabriel Knight emoji. All for just a tier one sub. What? Oh, wait. This is not what I thought it was going to be. Oh, I thought the trials of power were... Let's see. So, minor test. Ah, there we go. That's all we want. A minor test of strength. Yes, for a tier one sub, you have access to that very fine looking Gabriel Knight sticker. Sticker? It's not a sticker, that's an emoji. I know what I'm talking about, I swear. I'm not sleep deprived. Who said I was sleep deprived? Feeling pretty good today. I had a really productive day. Lots of writing. That's always a pleasure. Other work. <laughs> I opened my email, which uh, honestly, at this point, ever how many months into a pandemic we are, feels like a real accomplishment in and of itself, just looking at my inbox. Okay. I'm ready. Uh-oh. He looks mean. Smile! What an incredible jerk this guy is. Hmm, he's a little tougher than I expected. Got the old master... Call for my horse, like a big old dum dum. <laughs> His face tanked that, that very predictable move. I know how to make a minor test of strength look way more difficult than it needs to be. That's my secret. Okay, now let's see here. Down here, I believe, is the lady that wants photos of guardians like a real weirdo. It's amazing, before you even knew photos existed, you could want them. I mean, Link is the first person in what? Hell's the Sheikah Slate? It's older than 100 years, right? Like, he's the first person to be able to take photographs for... No, no, Zelda had it. Was she ever able to get to work? 10,000 years? Has it been 10,000 years since anyone else took a photo? There are lots of perverts in this game. We'll pay for discreet photos. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, that was always part of Miyamoto's vision. You know, he was inspired to create Zelda when wandering around the countryside in Japan and finding caves and exploring them. And once he was in there looking at illicitly taken photographs of his neighbors that he brought with him so yeah i mean that was part of the original concept and i love that the breath of the wild team really tried to embrace that as they worked on the game hmm. oh no Okay, I can't resist this now. How am I going to do this? 
<laughs> me and my nose, bitch. <laughs> Is this a shoot through it or a run through it? Did I do something stupid? I was supposed to shoot at this, wasn't I? Oh, it's a run. Oh, I'll drop down some horses. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, is that? Yeah. I mean, that's, of course, the actual origin. The actual origin is that somebody thought it'd be pretty awesome if Zelda had a Wii U. Hey! We got seed. Bye bye I know, that's pretty wild, right? There's no reason that I should have ever made that in a million years, yet here we are. Let's travel back to the shrine and make this a little easier on ourselves. <laughs> Breath of the Wild's about how Link discovers an ancient Bowser amiibo. What else is in the news? Have you guys seen the stories about the amiibo fast travel system that they baked into Skyward Sword for the remake? I hear uh, the Zelda heads are none too happy about locking a less frustrating travel option behind an amiibo paywall. This has been Jess Shares Zelda news that he barely understands, a new segment that I'm adding to the stream. Zelda heads. That's what they call them. Ooh, man. Is Zelda Grognard even a thing? I feel like Gary Gygax wouldn't appreciate any use of Grognard that doesn't involve uh, to hit armor class zero. Oh, man. One of these jerks. <laughs> Uh, nice materialization there, dork. Great guy got this dead. Ooh, man. Shots fired. He failed that savings throw. I just like how we all collectively act like Grognard isn't a deeply upsetting word. I think that's the best thing about old school D&D fandom. We just ignore the fact that those two syllables go together and sound like that when you make them with your mouth. Oh, wow. Ooh, Grayson, that is a very good point. You know, in my head, I imagine D&D &D being much older, but you're right. Oh my goodness. And now that we are like five decades removed from it, or four to however, I mean, I can't do math on the fly, you know, several decades removed from it, they might as well be the same age. So smooth and ancient. They're justified and they're ancient. And they drive an ice cream van. I'll show them to you. Hmm, someone's speaking. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Did we have multiple people <laughs> who recognized <laughs> that very deep, deep cut? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. ALF is going to rock you. Ancients of Mew. 
I thought that the Matty Wind cut was deep last night and half the uh, stream got that. I was not expecting a KLF drop to uh, to get any sort of recognition at all. There you go. I feel alive with terror just from gazing at its beautiful form. Aw, oh, small guardian, it's adorable. They're justified, and they're ancient, and they drive an ice cream van. They're justified, and they're ancient. I hope you'll understand. Oh, that must mean you have a bad picture of a third type. What a joy. Can you give me that box? <laughs> Imagine if you showed somebody a photo, like, on your iPad. And you're like, check this out. I went to the beach the other day. Isn't that a cool sandcastle? And they're like, I love that picture of a sandcastle. Can I just have your iPad? <laughs> nah, not really. Yeah, I'm kind of using this to save the entire realm, so... Yeah. Can I have that orb, though? I'm really over it. I'm all about guardians now. Hmm. Yeah, another pervert hanging out here in the wilds of Breath of the Wild. Grayson, you were right. All these people are sickos. Every last one of them. Link included. He's no better. All right, shrine revealed. <laughs> Click over here to my auto mod. My auto mod <laughs> tried to shut Fit down for talking about a very normal uh, proclivity, and that is orb fetishes. Nice try, mod. Not today. I've undone your wrong. Hey. When I got this quest, this shrine crest, quest, crest, quest, so early in the game, it's just been seen in my log for dozens of hours at this point. Oh, a lot of mods are Robocops, true. So true. By the way, welcome everyone to the stream. If you're joining us late, glad you could be here for some Breath of the Wild. Who doesn't love Breath of the Wild? I know I certainly don't not love Breath of the Wild. And we're having a terrific time. If you happen to be new here, consider dropping a follow. If you happen to have been here before, please don't unfollow. That really puts me a step in the wrong direction. What does my barbarian gear do for me? I guess I should buy my ancient gear. That's the good stuff. Put on our stupid hat. Where is the ancient gear? Ancient gear, ancient gear. Hmm. Why do I not see it? Oh, it got moved to the back when we upgraded. I guess I should sort that. There we go. <laughs> this outfit looks very good when Link appears to be wearing no pants with it. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely an upgrade. <laughs> okay, I probably should eat something before I go in there. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe chug a lug and elixir. This should do the trick. Okay, so we're gonna use careful strategy here.
Oh, I don't have use of my powers here. I don't think I realized that. Hmm, try that eye beam again. I'm gonna parry it and make you look so foolish. Uh oh. You ready to do your spinning move? I thought so. Oh man. <laughs> Late era Futurama is definitely a very specific vibe, isn't it? <laughs> Oh yeah, this thing. Ooh, what's this cool new music? Oh, well, what? Okay, got rid of that guardian sword. Mission accomplished. Time to say goodbye to the Sword of the Six Sages. Okay, just, <laughs> just getting rid of some weapons here. There we go. Easy. Link does bounce along nicely. Well, as long as he's ragdolling, he can't take additional damage, right? So it's kind of best case scenario. Okay, guardian shield. Sorry, radiant shield. You didn't make the cut. Laser skipper. <laughs> I do need some more shield slots, don't I? Yeah, I hadn't thought about that, but I guess they are super cheap at this level. Probably could use a couple of bow spots, a couple of shield spots. Maybe that's a good thing to do next. Good job, rising hero. You slayed that thing wearing no pants at all. A bold move. That's what makes you the hero. The one the prophecy spoke of. Ah, two orbs. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's a good time to go unlock a few slots. Now we have a nice little travel point down here on the beach. I'll go over and check that guardian to see if he has any loot. Oh no, keys. Well, I hate these guys. No overkill there. What weapon should I use? Hmm. like this is D&D &D, that a bludgeoning attack against a skeleton would always grant me some sort of bonus, right? So makes sense. What's that? Hmm. Aha! Yeah. 
Sweet. Rivali's Gale is now ready. <laughs> How am I doing on this? <laughs> What's the easiest way to pull up my progress in the game? Okay, what happened to that guardian I was going to loot? Lost track of him. There he is. Yay, ancient screw. His fast traveling will tell me how much progress I've made. There we go. Let's go see if we can upgrade a few inventory slots. So many ancient screws. You can never have too many ancient screws. There's a thing I always say. Okay, let's get this upgrade. See if we can remember where. There he is. Conveniently placed. I must dance. Oh, yes, it's definitely a deal. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so joyful. <laughs> I love that he sings the fanfare, the item get. Expand the band band shield stash, Shakatala. Okay, let's do another one on the shields. Maybe we'll get a couple of bows. <laughs> oh, it's so wonderful. Yeah, just joyful, lovely. This two is the best two. Couldn't agree more fit. Give me those bow slots. <laughs> Get a couple of these. <laughs> yeah, the butt wiggle is the highlight of the dance. <laughs> Thank you, Broccoli Man. All right, our inventory is a little better now. A little bit more manageable. Uh, nothing right now. Okay. Pretty good progress. I think that might be, as it's getting a little later here, the perfect time to call it a night. So I think we'll start to wrap up there. Before we go though, I do want to launch a raid. Let me see who is live with something fun. I think that there is, yeah, there we go. The Absurd Heroine is playing Quest for Glory 1 VGA right now. A fantastic game, one that I love uh, deeply. Uh, Maybe we'll raid over there. Ooh, I need to... I don't know if I'm following Old School Jay. I'll have to do that uh, here soon. But yeah, maybe we'll raid over for now to the Absurd Heroine. Drop in, say hello. But in the meantime, thanks everyone for watching that. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the support, the, uh, the stickers, everything else. It's been a fun evening. Uh, and I will see you again pretty soon. Let me just start the raid. And we will hit the end stream. And I'll see you on the other side.